Hey everybody, whoever's watching this at a later date, let me get my chat thing opened up. Let's just see, I haven't broadcasted in so long. Alright, there we are. Alright, hey everybody, uh, this is the second week, I think, I believe it's the second week, uh, after the release of the new Resident Evil 8, The Village. I made my order last week and went on and got a physical copy of the game, just in case I don't like it too much and want to return it. Now, I did go on and play a little bit through this, um, just so I wouldn't have, like, wouldn't be playing and, like, all over the place and you guys had to see me, like, trying to figure stuff out and to get the basic, uh, handles of the game and stuff, so, uh, chat is active, I may not be able to look at it much, because I'm going to be paying attention to this, but you know how it is, so, here we go, we're going to put it on casual, because I'm a wimp, just the way it is, honey, but so far, what I played of it is amazing, it really is, it's so good, I love it, Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then, a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Oh, God. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved exactly. Her so she have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. <laughs> You're just being paranoid. It's not. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. Yeah, Ethan. Hey, uh, yay, heel. I'm, or hi, I'm, I'm doing great. I didn't answer you because that's when the, the remember. thing was playing. I can't blame her. 
Which friend are you? I had a few. It is. It's really good. I played through it a little bit. Um, well, actually, maybe like one fourth through it, just so I would have the um, gist of the controls and certain parts, which it ended up paying off because certain parts, you know, I had to kind of run around for 40 minutes and figure out what to do. And I didn't want the viewers to have to wait with me through that. So, but I didn't pay, play all the way through it. Now, can you hear me? Like, can you hear my voice? Yes, this is the beginning. This is the very, very, very beginning. Now, can you guys hear my voice? Let me know. It Just say yes, somebody, if you can hear my voice. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Oh, hey. Hey, Bobby. Hey. Okay, good. Good. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Hey, sweetie. I remember your actual name. Um, man, I'm telling you, Bobby, I got so depressed and stuff. All, like, a few of my fish died. I remember I had lost, like, my dogs and stuff, too. I've been so bummed out. I did up myself in Red Dead a Don't lot, though. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Don't get too close. <laughs> now, for anybody, um, wanting to know, there was an option where I could have played, like, the it was some kind of clip from Resident Evil 7, but this time, this when I restarted the game, it didn't give me that option. But for anybody that doesn't know, this is a follow-up. This game is a follow-up for Resident Evil Biohazard. That was 7. This is 8. Um, and this is Ethan, and I believe her name's Claire. Um, oh, gosh. I think I'm level 56 on Red Dead. 56? Okay, Kelly. Sounds good, honey. Okay, now let's see. We're going to be putting the baby to sleep, but I wanted to show you guys their house. To sleep, will you? <sighs> My taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. <laughs> good old wine. Girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? That's a weird thing to say. Like, once you're a big girl, we're going to have a drink together. It's, it's weird. <laughs> It's like that's what he's waiting for. I love their house. And then I hate to say it, but this is a really ugly baby. God bless it. Looks like there's something wrong with it. I love their house, though. All right, let's get up here and put the baby to sleep. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Oh, yeah, it's a horror. It's a horror genre genre game. I've been playing Resident Evil. You guys, you ready for this? Since uh, since the first one was released, wasn't that 96 or 97? PS1. Almost there, honey. This is PS4. I'll have to remember to put that, like, in the tags when I go to do the next part. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. Oh, okay, Bobby. I'll see you later then. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh, okay. Thank you. No, I'll be on for a while streaming. I'll be on for at least two and a half, three hours streaming this. And then and then I'll live stream about this time tomorrow too. Until this game's finished. February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. Oh, yeah, her name's Mia, not Claire. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but we... But can we really just forget about everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face... Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital. She didn't care. Um, 
Yeah, it got. I mean, it is right now a little bit boring to me because I've leveled up so much in Bounty Hunter and all of that. Like, I've leveled up even, like, by myself. I even beat... Dude, can you believe it? I beat some legendary bounties, like, by myself. It's crazy, which obviously it wasn't, like, level 4 and 5, but I, I did. I beat quite a few of them. What's his favorite toy? Da, 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 da. Gun survivalist. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Exactly, honey. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any items that we can pick up in this house. This is literally the beginning. Okay, we're getting ready to go downstairs, and it's going to go off. Like, it's about the game's about ready to start. So, let me check back down here. This is their bathroom. It's a really ugly bathroom. Mia's medication. All right, hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to grab something from the other room. Then I'm going to go downstairs on this game. And it's about to pop off. Hold on. Oh, Gypsy, I'll be out in a minute, baby. Hold on. It's my dog. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's my mom. Hold on. Just got to get a few things so I can sit in there for a few hours without having to get back up. Should have done this before I started. I'll be back later, baby. Go spend time with Dad. I'll be back later. I got a broadcast. Live broadcast. All right. So, here we go. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Christmas. She looks like here, some girl I went to school with. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be. Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, fair warning, Mia, guy. Warning. Us a little bit. I'll try not to. Mia! Ah. Mia. Oh, oh, God. God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. It's Chris, Chris no! Redfield. What? Why? He was on Resident Evil 2. And I'll play Red Dead with you soon, Bobby. I promise. It ain't that boring to me. Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Mm. Meanness. Rose. Get him out. Yes, you guys are really gonna like this. I played through like one fourth of it and it was really good so far. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. 
I hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Aww. Now see, the baby looks kind of normal there. But in the beginning in the game, it looked... <laughs> it was so ugly, it looked like there was something wrong with it. God forgive me. I'm not usually so hateful, but it is just a video game. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Yep, here we go. Now, you guys are going to see me going around searching for things a lot. There is a lot of things in this game that you got to pick up, you know. So, there is a lot of searching that goes into it. And I can't quite remember if there was some items I could grab around here. So, I'm just going to check real quick. But I don't think there are. I also got me a new TV, so this is, it looks really cool. It looks really good. It's high, like high definition. I go faster, but it isn't letting me run yet, so. I definitely suggest playing this game with, with headphones if you can, because it, it sounds like you're in the game, which I guess that would go with any game. Oh, God. I'm going to duck down. That's nasty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Now this is on casual setting, which means easy. Um, usually after I play through a game once, a game like this, I, I usually do the first playthrough easy, then I go on to standard and then hard, so. Oh God. <laughs> I don't think it lets me pick up any items for for a little while. I think. Is 
it's been like three or four days since I played the beginning. Well, that's not creepy. Not at all. Uh, me and my dad have been Resident Evil players since the mid-90s when they first came out in Silent Hill, too, by the way. So this is nothing new to me, yet I still get freaked out. <laughs> I'm going to try to get dad his own uh, PS4 out there. Let him try some of these... Uh, newer games because he will freak out at how realistic they look. He just hasn't been into video games like he was when I was a kid growing up and stuff. Eh. Flip it, honey. It's the Lord Jesus. What did all this? Now there's some really beautiful scenes coming up here in a minute. Right up here. Check this out. Where the hell am I? Yeah. Man, this is so beautiful. This looks so real. Look at this. Ain't that gorgeous? And that is literally where we're heading. <laughs> the big castle. How was it? Which way did I go? Is it down this way? Yeah. so sad uh, I love this I love games that give me a chance to explore and then you get rewarded by finding things and I love all these details this game has amazing detail maybe maybe they're out <laughs> yeah maybe they're just out Ethan yeah maybe they're just out <laughs> all of their stuff thrown everywhere and like 
yeah, they're they're just out, you know. Now this is uh kind of confusing to me. Is obviously you need a pick, uh, a pick lock to get that open, but I didn't find one my first run through here. But we'll try to find one, because once you get in that castle, at least as far as I got in the castle, I couldn't come back once I found some pick locks. So and there's that creepy thing that doesn't really look like Jesus, but kind of does. <laughs> This was kind of weird, too, in this village. You're going to see a lot of uh, pet carriers. Maybe there's a backstory to it. Oh, shit. And this, too, I never found a crank for these. So that's what we're going to do in the village. We're really going to try to try to find that crank, a lockpick. I keep wanting to turn on my, uh, my dead eye, like in Red Dead Redemption, where you can see items glowing. <laughs> but this isn't Red Dead, so... So yeah, I went in there, okay. I like crows. They're supposed to be really intelligent, too. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> I can hear some creepy music too. Yeah, I got this game, physical copy off of eBay for $63. It's, I think it's definitely worth it, but if you're kind of short on money, wait a few months, it should come on sale. Or find a used one, you know. Usually I, I don't buy video games, like, right away. Usually I do wait. But I had been waiting for this game for a while. Oh, this is where I came from, wasn't it? is where I came from, wasn't it? That's where that horse was. Yeah. Okay. And we did just come from here, I believe. Yep, there's that do not enter. Make sure you get everything. Man, when I was first playing this, coming through this exact area, I thought that was like a monster hanging around this tractor, but it's goat heads. It's severed goat heads. Ooh. What happened?
terrible. to open that. And then you don't get this key. You don't get this key for this door until you're way up in the castle. So apparently, after I get all the way through the castle, I should be able to come back and maybe go through town and open these things. We'll find out, because I didn't play through... I played through most of the castle, but I didn't even go to the main boss yet. The big tall lady. So. Some force to open it. Okay. Yeah, honey. Uh, let's check back out here. Did I not forget anything out here? Again, Shit. you guys will see, you'll see me do this a lot. Uh, it's blocked off. I just want to make sure I get everything. It will help future viewers too if they're looking for certain items and such. Did they just run out of the house? Dude, what do you think? There's severed goat heads hanging places. What do you think? All right, things are about to pop off. I remember this. Here we go. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! No, it's out there. Hey, are you listening? more <laughs> Jesus Christ What the hell is wrong with this place Ah huh. oh. Okay, where's my gun? No. Aim the gun, dude. Why are you procrastinating? See? See, see? Come on, honey. No. Uh, 
guys let me turn off my air conditioner i thought that it was getting cold in here hold on it's just right over here like what the hell it's not even that like i was thinking it ain't even cold today why is it i had my air on all right make sure there's nothing we can pick up nothing else that other lock that needed broken open the thing is though is like with these hedge clippers you can only use them once which makes no sense at all like once you use the that like it breaks or something dude it's made out of steel you can reuse it many times in real life so that's kind of stupid but let's go in this little house This is what I mean about like checking everything out. You want to make sure you get like everything you can, obviously. There's also, you know, a few little, um, um, oh, I forget, like kind of like collector items. There are these little goats that you can shoot. And I do remember there was one, there was one here and I just didn't shoot it the first time around. Bolt cutters. Is that? Oh, I was going to say. That's a pointless little room. Come on, buddy. See, there's another pet carrier. Oh, man. Yeah, things are about to go crazy. Now this, this part gets really nuts. Hopefully I don't die and embarrass myself. Oh, so it begins. Yes. I'm getting prepared. <laughs> this part was actually a little bit crazy.
wait. <laughs> wow. Are they coming from that way too? No! Oh! Oh! No, no, no! Dude, seriously? What a fault. And remember, the bodies uh, drop things too. They drop money, uh, building tools. Is it over? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my, to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Oh yeah, I remember this. So last time, I think it got really crazy in here because I didn't put this uh, barricade across the door. So always pay attention to that. It will always have yellow tape on it. And last time I didn't, so I was like overwhelmed. Which maybe it's still going to do it again anyway. <laughs> hey. Now, there are some, you can see them, little uh, vampire demon dudes sitting up on the houses. I had to navigate around them. There's something else, too. Uh, hold on. There's a certain way I did this. Duck down. Wait a minute, I wonder if there's a way I can shoot him from up here. Yeah, see him? See him up there? There's a few of them up on the houses. I don't think I can shoot through that, though. There's actually some right over there. See? Look. Look at him. And I think that's... Yeah, I don't have no kind of pipe bombs or nothing yet. Now, what did I do to get past these dudes? I want to say I just ran. What did I do? Oh well, let's just try to kill it. Oh god! Oh! Why does he- he always aims for the knees, bitch! Why would you aim for the knees? That makes absolutely no sense! Oh god. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Come to me. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. Come on, hurry up, honey. Out, bitch. He's really trying to stand up without a head. <laughs> There's no end to them. There's gonna be. No! I think I meant to die here because I really fought it last time and ran from them. And I ended up getting, like, 
I died anyway and it played into the story. So. Some of these guys don't just bite you. You can see this guy actually has a machete. No. Oh god, get down! Get! Oh god, he's right behind you! You're playing games with my life! No, I don't need you! No! No, I don't want to be- Oh my god, there's that big dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, let me go pick up this, some of the stuff though before you guys kill me. Come on. Pick up some of the shit. Oh my god, that big dude's in there. Isn't he? Oh god, there he is. Oh shit! Pick up that herb, pick it up! Oh, no! God, he got me! No! Push it! Dang it! <laughs> I get scared. Where's that? Yeah, pick that up. No. No! No! Why don't you love me? Oh! Oh my god! So scary get! Dude, I hate you! I never understood what was... Okay. They're, they're throwing flamings. Flamage at me now. Uh, survive the attack. Okay, well, let's do it. I thought for sure that something happened to me and they drug me off to their leader or something. Dude, don't come at me like that. Oh, really? Oh, I'm the one that blocked it. Look at this dude. Shit. Dude, I know. Just take me. So I think they... I think they're supposed to... Oh, there's a crystal skull. Pick up those things. These things are worth a lot of money for later in the game. No. Open back up. Dude, really? I want to say that I'm supposed to get attacked, but I'm, it says survive the attack. Oh my god. I'm stuck! Yeah, next time I'm just gonna save my bullets. If I do another playthrough, I'm just saving my bullets because this is supposed to happen. Huh? 
Wait. Oh, wait. <sighs> Let's go around and make sure we picked up everything we could. I know it's a little tedious, but it's worth it if you find your stuff. I actually think I probably picked up everything. And like what I said, next playthrough I won't even waste my bullets. I'll just let them attack me. Because I think that's like supposed to happen. This is that old man's house. Pretty sure I think I picked up just about everything. See, again, there's the... There's a... Uh, supposedly after I get that key, they'll allow me access to the village. In life and in death. We give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> Alright. We'll go into these different buildings. Actually, let me send my link to my sister real quick. She's writing me. I'm going to tell her that I'm broadcasting. My brother-in-law may want to watch. Chat. Okay. Alrighty. I didn't want her to think she sent me something. I didn't want her to think I was just ignoring her. So I told her I was live broadcasting and sent the link just in case my brother in law wants to watch. We all used to play video games years ago together. And then the, my dad and my brother in law kind of got out of them, but I never did. I'm in my 30s and I still play video games. O oh, great Lyakens, the fabled monster wolves of old, may they come to eat our flesh, may they come to tear us apart. <laughs> or not. Let's not do that. No, let's see. Or, no, dash it all. There we go. Uh, let me get this kind of organized a little bit. We put this over here. This right in the middle to blow heads off with a knife. No, 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 I messed up. Now, let's see. Nope. Now, I gotta get to Homegirl's house, Louise house. Uh, but we'll just wait and see.
Them old crows always got something to say. I want to say I found some stuff. Yeah. An herb. And, of course, you can craft things. Let's do this. There we go. You can also uh, craft uh, ammunition, of course. Guess this Ooh. leads to the castle. Yep. Yeah, this this isn't creepy at all. Not at all. Ooh, look who it is. A pew pew pew. A pew pew pew. I think this might be... Oh, cool. Yeah, place to save. This is where... Um, let me see something. Oh, yeah. So I can overwrite this one. That's my other game. I did not even get halfway through the game, though. I just got, like, maybe halfway through the castle. A little over half. The church and Louisa's. Yep. Okay. Make sure we don't forget anything. See, there's another well. Surely it's going to let me come back with the things to get that stuff open. This too. You get that, that key you get in the castle. Then you get stuck in the castle. Go this way, just real quick. There's that goat statue. We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall fill Mother Miranda's wrath. I did it. I did it, Mother Miranda. And this, that ain't the church. There's the church. And we'll be going down this way. But everything's blocked off. There's a way around everything. Hold on, we'll figure it out. doesn't open. I 
I tried this, didn't I? All right, let's see something. So old lady's got that locked. I know, yeah. I do. This is this is actually one reason why I played through some of it so I wouldn't be doing this as often running in circles. And it does all kind of like look the same and stuff a little bit, but I'll figure it out. I did this before too, a couple days ago. Kind of ran around not knowing what to do. Just want to check every corner. See, that requires, oh, a key. That would be a key. And we'll check the uh, church again. Ooh, look. See what I mean? Hi. We're just going to make sure that we don't miss anything. But there's that one locked place. Let's go back in the church real quick, just to make sure. Never know. Make sure we don't look over anything. We'll save again. It saves like super fast. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. This is where we go. Where is it? There we go. Oh shit. Oh, I could barricade myself in here if I wanted to. One thing about this game, too, I'll let you guys know it's very helpful. Um, which I guess in the church I missed something. If the room or the building is blue, like the one I'm in right now, that means you found everything. There's nothing else to do there. But if it's red, that means that there is probably, there's some, well, there is, there's something you missed. So we'll go in and head back to the church. I don't know what I could have missed. Did you guys see something? It could be in the churchyard. I know I hear something clacking. They got a bunch of potted plants on the top up there. You see it? Right there? That's weird. We'll look in here one more time. There has to be something that... 
Oh, is this? Oh, no, that's that. That's that little thing, that little map. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely not seeing... not seeing what I need to get. I do hear something kind of moving though and clacking. I hear that? It's like, like kind of rattling a little bit. Stay and fret for too long. Let's look at the back. So remember that goat statue was up there. Oh, it's because of this. That's why. That's why this ground, this area, I guess maybe is looking red still, is because of that. And I don't have a a crank to get that open just yet. So maybe it's because of that. Let me stay down. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, I personally made sure that I, like, once I get in the castle and stuff, you guys will see it, I will make sure that I upgrade my shotgun and everything, because it, like, the shotgun really is helpful. So I personally suggest, like, upgrading your shotgun as soon as possible. And you'll see once we get into the castle. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's make sure we get everything. See, that little building's blue means it is complete Look around here never know just want to make sure but yeah that's it um now we're gonna go across this way first i think so there are a few zombies slash um <laughs> vampires hidden in this tall grass here so and I did navigate around them before, but stay down. I'm going to want to make some more of these. And as soon as I can, I'll be making shotgun bullets can't just yet. And there is something back here. It's going to stand up. Yeah, this is Louise's house where that other little disc is. And then back here, I think there was a few items. The grass just kind of confuses you, but there is stuff back here. I hear you over there bitching, Mona. You can just be quiet. <clears throat> Stupid zombies. Now, let's see. Go 
going to pull out the old shotgun. One good thing about having a headset on, some earphones, uh, or yeah, a headset is, is I can really tell where they are. I can hear them grunting and stuff. It really aids in knowing where they are. I think he's going to walk towards me. Yep. Come on. Let's get this shit over with, buddy. You and me. You and me and Dupree. Come on. I'm right here waiting for you, my love. That one's got a machete. This high grass is so confusing. I don't even know where I am. Hold on. Cause I think I killed a dude kind of over here, didn't I? I just want to pick up his his stuff. I ain't missing out on no goodies, buddy. Can I jump that? No. I'm not going to waste my bullets on him. All right. Close the door. Please. Hey, what are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh. house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here, be quiet, and don't move until I get those gates open.
the good old outhouse. Man, I thought for this being a, a new title, I thought for sure we'd get more viewers than this. But hopefully at a later date when somebody just wants to watch or wants to figure out what to do with the game and stuff, hopefully it'll help them. What does that say? By removing a screw. Oh, yeah. Come on, it's clear. Hurry, hurry. Took your damn time. You're welcome. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here. She kind of looks like Amy Smart. Safer here than out there, that's for she sure. She was on the butter butterfly effect, the first hey, one. Do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. I have goldfish. <laughs> goldfish. Say, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger Big, us all. Big, fat, My selfish goldfish. That's not my, my problem. Love. What's going on? Mm -hmm. These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Do it and do it now. No. If Elena trusts you... And so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Sorry, guys. Just grabbing something real quick. There we go. Make sure. Okay. Yep. Making sure my volume was on. Louisa, they broke in again. Get more of, get more. <laughs> Louisa, they broke in again. Got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Yeah, a lot of people streaming it right now that's what it is and there's definitely people more well known than i am and then i was you know in the fish community for a while so i just started live broadcasting just about a month or two ago and i don't do it like every day or with every game too It's cool, though, because later on, there's going to be people that want to watch the game. And there's people, even I do, like to just sit and watch people play video games. And I've watched videos, playthroughs that were four years old, three years old. So, 
as long as it helps somebody out or it helps them relax or something, even though it's a horror game. <laughs> I watch horror games to relax as well. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Guys, Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless... Invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch, and you, man. you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing, and expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Oh, that guy in the corner. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? <sighs> tomorrow we're all... Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana. That's enough. Jeez. Oh, this house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Dude, kick him out, man. I would Can get the gun and say, get the hell what out of my hell house. What's going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and, where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Aww. Oh, that guy limping over there. That's so sad. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Oh, that's oh, awesome, no. Kelly. I love Ranchu. I always Come wanted a me, lavender please. Ranchu. They're kind of rare, though. I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you for being here with me. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her, as it shall protect us. <laughs> oh, man. Leonardo, strong. Are you okay? Oh! Oh, God. Elena, no, stay back! No, let me go! did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. No, honey. This entire Stay place Stay with us. <laughs> you couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No. We're getting out of here. Together. 
Not exactly. Oh, poor girl. Okay. Um, now, whenever there's a scene going on, I probably won't answer anybody if they say or ask anything in the chat. I'll just wait till the scene's over for people that's wanting to see the scenes. Uh, but man, I love Ranchu. I always wanted a lavender Ranchu, man. There's so it's like a purple, you know, you know what I mean. It's purplish, black, gray kind of tint. Oh, they're so cute. Um, now let me see. What was it I got to do with this? Oh, hey, honey. Yes. Don't mind if I do. And yes, horror games definitely relax me. But mine ties into my childhood, like my dad playing Resident Evil, even Castlevania in 1990. You know, I would sit back and watch him play that and go to sleep. Like, literally go to sleep watching him. Wait a minute. Anything else? Make sure that we... Oh, see? See? There was shotgun ammo, and that's kind of hard to find. You don't find that much. You usually have to craft most of what you you use with shotguns. Ooh, what does that say? Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, awesome! Where did you find your lavenders? I only ever seen them for sale, like, on goldfishnet.com. Um, and I think one time Bo Zhao had one. The fire's moving fast. <coughs> I got a couple fish from Bo Zhao. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Dude, she looks just like Amy Smart, just with dark hair. I can't believe you have Lavender Ranchu. That is amazing, Kelly. That's awesome. I'm definitely envious. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. <laughs> More to go, but up. Come on. Uh, grab on. Hurry. <laughs> Let's move. Don't worry. Go I'm on, lady. To breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> Come on. It'll hold. <coughs> there. That's our way out. Thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. No, honey. He said my name. No, he Wait, didn't. It's not safe. Uh. Stay there. Come on. Give me your hand. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't give up. Reach for me. God damn it! He has a little mental breakdown here. <laughs> Why is everyone dying on me? This is, this is just too much. Too much. 
It's like, dude, she died because you guys are in a burning house and you decided to have a full-blown just... conversation <laughs> in the middle of that. That is why she died. Like, if you guys had went on and ran over here and left, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> This place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? Oh, shit! <clears throat> Hold on just a second, put that on pause. It's just funny, like, uh, when I was first playing through it a couple days ago, um, when this part happened, I was going, to get out of the house! Like, why are you guys... You can have a full-blown conversation... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, once you get outside, but no, 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 no. In movies and in video games, they choose to have these, this long dialogue, like, in the midst of pure danger. It's just crazy. Hold on, guys, I'm just doing something. Just take a second. There we go. It's all on fire. Just making sure there wasn't nothing there. I knew there was something earlier, but... <laughs> the Demon Crest. Wow, see, it's showing that I missed something. Missed something in that room. That sucks. There's certainly no way to get back in there. Oh, shit. Who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Hey! <laughs> What was that? Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming for probably, uh, the next at least just two hours, and then I'll have to cook for me, mom, and dad. So probably the next two hours. Um, yeah, water change takes forever. I've got a 125 gallon and a 55, and the 125 alone takes about, gosh, I'd say about two, two and a half hours. Yeah, you should, man. You really should. It's good. But what I'll suggest is, I mean, it just it's your opinion or your choice, but I would definitely suggest buying the physical copy of the game, like on eBay where you get a disc and all that. Then that way, if you really don't like it, you can always just resell it. You know, that's what I was going to do. Like if I don't really like it or it's okay, you can always buy it again at a later date, you know. So, yeah, it's a good game, man. But I'll be streaming when you get get back, babe. And I'll stream again tomorrow around 6 p.m. for a few hours. All right. Let's see if there's anything we can grab grab in this area. You tell those uh, tell those baby fish I said hi. Those baby fish. I always call mine my fish. Man, goldfish are good pets, dude. People so underestimate them. You can hand tame them. They come in so many different breeds and colors. And and if properly taken care of, man, they, they can live a long time and grow very large. I want to pick up anything that's in this field. A spooky spooky. And we went 
into that building. I can't believe, see, there was something right there that I totally missed, like totally. Um, let's go try the church again. I was saying that I'm missing something in there. That building's all checked out. Oh, there's that lady. Oh yeah, it's probably that thing that I can't, I don't have Death. the handle. Yes, Death has visited them all. <laughs> Wonder what she'd do if I was like pew pew pew, a pew pew pew, a pew pew, a pew pew pew. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that it's this thing. Why this building's staying red? Let's go in here and save. Though we'll go save, but I don't see anything else that I can grab from the church. Why it would be staying red? That's what it is. Pay attention, guys. See this little thing shining up there? You shoot these, and you can go sell them here in a little bit to this guy. And it's like that right there was like $800. Yeah. Those little things up there. You'll see, like, always look for shiny things. And now look, the building's blue. So... Good thing I went back and looked. And I bet that was what was in that house. I bet it was a little crystal somewhere. Anything else? There's this, but I don't have a lock pick. That needs a lock pick. Now it's saying that something's down in that. Should we go to it? If I can, if they haven't blocked it off. Yeah, I think I can get down there now. Yeah, I don't have kids either. So my pets are really, like last year we lost all three of our dogs. They were old. The two girls were 11 and a half. The, our boy Hansel was 15. So I knew that they were getting older, especially Hansel, but it devastated me. They all died within five months of each other and it absolutely like devastated me. It made me so sad. Like I'm still dealing with it. I'm still battling that. Yeah, it looks like I can't get back down there. They got it blocked off. Oh well, let's go put that thing in here. The old demon's big fat face. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to finish this up, and then I'm going to go use the bathroom. It'll take like five minutes, that's all. So if you guys want to get up, get you something to drink. Anybody that's watching now or in the future, get you some food. I'm just finishing up my lollies here. If you guys can put two and two together and know what that is. And then I just got to pee. I drank too much coffee today. But yeah, make sure that you, uh, especially once you get the gun, look all around, even the handgun. The handgun's what you would want to shoot them with anyway, because the shotgun bullets, you don't find as many, and they take a little bit more to craft. Um, but look around for little sparkly things and it's little crystal fragments 
and shoot them and then collect them when they fall and then you get to sell them. Hold on guys, I'll be right back in like two minutes. All right, I'm back. Yeah, it's a hidden gem, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's little hidden gems. Nothing but you just got to shoot at them. Huh? Just shoot at them, they'll fall, collect them. And then remember when you kill enemies, they always leave something. You know, they'll leave a little bit of money, they'll leave scrap metal. Um, and they, they leave like big crystal skulls and torsos and those are worth a lot of money. So always try to collect, um, after every enemy falls. Wonder why why this is here. I wonder if that leads you to something. Look. Maybe not, but why is it yellow? Why even put that there if it doesn't mean anything? This is so exciting. Let me take my medicine real quick. This is so exciting for me because usually, um, usually I won't get a game until it's been out for a while because of money. Even when I have the money, I'm like a cheap, I'm cheap that way. Excuse me, my pills in my mouth. <clears throat> I just want to be all ready for when I get attacked. Do forgive my loves. Grab me some water. Don't worry, it won't always be like this. Hold on. Oh, go on, Dad. Go on. Hi, Dipsy. 
Yeah, she if she keeps having diarrhea, it could be that she's it's something like dad said those cashews. Oh. I know that I mean if you feed anything in, in excess, sometimes it can have Yes, yeah, she's pooping in here. Yeah, she's right there. Pooping? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's like diarrhea. That's what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't give her maybe those pork steaks or because that's what she, every time she eats, it's, or every time she has it, it's right before she eats pork, or after she eats pork steaks. Lord have mercy. Oh, my dad feeds our dogs weird stuff. Now, I want them to be table fed because there are so many um, lawsuits out there with dog food companies. And, you know, so, and we fed our dogs mostly table scraps over the years. Like Hansel, he lived to 15. The girls were almost 12. His mom lived to almost 13 or 14. So, and they were pugs. But... I don't know. He's and he's been feeding her pork steak, and it seems like after she eats that, she always gets diarrhea. But then he was saying maybe cashews. I don't know. Maybe the cashews are doing it to her. Ugh, it's gonna worry me to death. Wait just a minute. Something happens here. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. You're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> the man is of no real use to anyone else. And my daughters do so love entertaining the worms. Mm. Furthermore, I can show you that you will trust the mortal to have still a trust. My daughters and I will live with you. Why, ugly? If I want to see. <laughs> He's awake! Don't you shut the fuck up! What? I can't! Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yeah, yeah, because a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep them. growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, 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 hey, don't fight, I get a fight, say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Ha. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for winning. And now let the games begin. 
Let's see what you have here. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No, wait! <laughs> Oh shit. Where was it? Where did I have to go? I forget. Oh. Now it's time for the beautiful, the soaked grand finale. like fresh American ground beef. Too close. Jeez, I almost forgot where I needed to go. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Well, of course they do, honey. Who else would have them? I'd have your old baby. Um, so, the first time I did this game, I, I got killed right here. This is the first place I got killed because you, you jump down from here. Okay, so pay attention. You're going to jump down from here. You'll be facing this way. You're going to want to immediately go to your left, and there's a little cubby hole that you can hide in back there. So, <laughs> just a heads up on that one. I remember there was something over here I picked up. 
And it wasn't that goat. There's like uh, bullets or something, yeah. An herb. Don't want to get out there and then be low on bullets. Now here's the guy who you can buy and sell from. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Well then, feel free to peruse. Ah, oh, I only got 1300. Do you have enough firepower? I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. Yeah, I don't really... Oh, well we can sell this. So as you can see, uh, these things, the crystal stuff is mostly picked up from the enemy. Sometimes you can shoot down a little gem, a crystal fragment, um, but they don't really get as much as this stuff will. Crystal skull, crystal fragment. Oh, no, 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 it does, actually. Ah! See, I was totally wrong then. The crystal fragment is 2,000 each, and the crystal skull is 900. Um, so, yeah, make sure you look for those things. Bits and bobs. I see. And... Now we're gonna do the shotgun ammo. Thank you for your purchase. And we still got two thousand. This is all an investment, Ethan. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it for now. Please come again. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, this is when it starts getting into the goodness of the Could game. And this is so beautiful. Look at this. So pretty. January 5th, redneck. Delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda. Meeting with Mis Mistress Dimitriscu. 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 February 1st, the Duke, business di instructions, business discuss discussions, rather. Sorry, guys, I've been talking weird the past couple days. Uh, another thing, too, is pay attention to these big uh, cabinets right there. They'll always be glass. Half the time there's something in there, and half the time there isn't. When there is, just shoot at it. Make sure you use uh, your handgun ammo. <clears throat> oh, 
I'll try to use my knife next time, but I don't think that worked. A bunch of money. Wonder how much money I have. I don't think I can really get anything yet. Now, is there something I missed in here? But look at this, guys. Look how beautiful this is. I love it. <clears throat> now, see, there's nothing in this cabinet, so I'm not even going to waste a bullet and shoot it because there's nothing in there labyrinths so these labyrinths are um there's uh four of them the castle the house on the hill the water wheel and the iron tower um and you get these little things you put them in there and you get something out of it so we'll get that in just a little bit And after some point, the big dude who sells you stuff will be in here. Mask the angel's blinded gaze, only then will you be saved. Looking for Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> I yeah. love this character. Let's this take a look is so at awesome. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. <laughs> yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, 
There will be enough for everyone. Put him up. Hey, hey, wait. Ah! <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> God, could you even imagine? Now this, you can sell. So we're gonna take that. Yeah, so you can use your knife, save on your bullets, and just bust those uh, cabinets open. I tried that again. <laughs> hmm. 
Where have they taken Rose? Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Shall I choose something for you? Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's sell I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. As you can see, the crimson glass is 3,500. And then, of course, the crystal fragments, man, that's more than I even, rem like, my first little playthrough. Not like all the way through, but it I didn't realize I didn't remember that the crystal fragments were actually worth that much. Mm -hmm. And then that crimson glass was thirty five hundred. So that's Securing that's pretty goods cool. is more important than anything. I mean that's pretty anything good because it's friend. like worth your time trying to find these things. Hmm. Now my uh first time I got this the uh, recipe for mines, but I ended up not really using it, so I'm not going to do that this time. And then, mind you, and this got me a couple times, this guy got me, you know, a thousand, a thousand dollars for, um, for some shotgun ammo. And I thought it was saying that I would get five of them, but it isn't. It's for one bullet. <laughs> so, a thousand for one bullet, so don't do it. Just don't do that. Pay attention to what I'm buying and you know, you can buy those things. Don't buy ammo with this guy because it's just a ripoff. Um, 150 for one handgun bullet. Like, they don't give you, a, a, you know, like 12 of them or 10 of them. So don't even, at least if that's what I've seen and I ain't going to do it again. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. It's actually... Yes, this is what we're going to do. And it helped, though, when I upped this. Let's just do mm -hmm. this. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. And we'll save the rest. And then the sniper rifle comes later on, so we don't need to focus on that right now. Yeah. Please come again. All right. So. We're going to have to get four masks. You can hear that guy coughing. And I never understood this, though. I didn't figure this out. It didn't let me take it. It's a teacup with that lady's uh, 
big fat lips on there. Hold on. My headset's all crooked. It's like pushing my hair into my ears and it made it itch. you love this? Look at it. Isn't this just beautiful? I love it. This is like my favorite place in the whole castle is this. We're going to wait to do this. The wine make making techniques can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcin Alcina, I cannot say her last name, uses this legendary yet peculiar, peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet, a bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui, Sangui, <laughs> if I, I'm going to mispronounce this, Sangui's Virginius, Virginia, <laughs> meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. We gotta find a wine bottle bottle to put there. that I was going to go. So that's locked. Is it? No. Oh, we just came from that way. You guys have seen me get turned around, turned around a little bit. Just have patience with me. <laughs> It's still, I played through this, but not much. Yeah, I think I gotta go on, go up there. Go save again. Naturally. Mm. Hold on. What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine Excuse used me. to say. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Take care. There 
there's that down there. Oh god, that woman's face. What? Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I gotta look at it. Now, so when I go through this door, I do I do remember this. What's going to happen is this, one of the women that's a fly, that are flies, is going to attack me. And pay attention to where I go because the first time that I played this, like, I spent so much time shooting at her, wasted all my ammo, getting attacked and everything. So pay attention to where I go when I get through here when I'm running from her because that's where you need to go. No amount of shooting her kills her or nothing. <gasps> <laughs> I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you, slice your jacket, and just watch. Hold on. Dead. Which would you prefer? All right, here we go. <laughs> Pay attention. Wonderful mountain in our hall. This room. And jump down this hole. Otherwise, she will literally just keep coming at you and you can't kill her. So, yeah. That door with the big ugly face on it. Uh, keep running through it. You'll make a left. Then you'll make another left into this like little dressing room. Um, and then... In the back of that dressing room, off to the right, is a board. You have to pull it off the wall, run through it, jump through the hole in the floor, and then here you are. <clears throat> June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear welling as if ghosts roam the walls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it, shut it now, they all shrieked at me. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, keep that in mind. Keep it in mind about her opening up the window and then freaking out I'll see you, Kelly. And thank you. Anything else? 
else I needed to pick up? Ooh. Ooh, oh, those are little baby birds. <gasps> Assholes. <clears throat> Freaking assholes in this house. <sighs> There's a couple of these uh, lighting things in this house, in this castle. Trust in light. Now you can push these, like just by running into them, but I found at least with this one it was kind of easier, at least the first time I did it, it was easier to just shoot them. Man, they really did have stuff like this back then. They really did have, like, chairs that you would sit in and it would, like, torment you and they'd, like, push you down into them. They had, like, torture devices. It's terrible. That's why whenever I hear people saying, it's usually the older generations, God bless them, they're so religious and they aren't as educated. They didn't have as much knowledge at their disposal like we do now. But they used to say, like, oh, the good old days. Honey, some of the good old days that you're talking about, like, black people couldn't even swim in certain swimming pools and stuff. You know what I mean? Back then, like, I don't know, there was so much, which obviously in the 1900s they didn't have stuff like this, but certainly in the 1800s and early 1900s, we were still hanging people in public, you know? And then look at the 1700s, the 1600s, the 15. Now, the 15 and 1600s, they were still using stuff like this. Like, people were more, quote-unquote, religious back then and stuff. People were scared of God, and God is nothing to be afraid of. Um, I don't know. It's just crazy. It, this was not the good old days. Things are much more humane and understanding now. Anyway, I won't rant so much. I'll focus on the game, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. So, okay, I came through here. You guys can read that if you want to. Candidates, Irina, Miela, Miela, Luis, and Ingrid. Irina, robust, robust appetite. Mihela, Miela. I know I'm probably mispronouncing that. Robust appetite. Louise, robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable. Overly alert at times. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I hear him.
Hmm, let's see something. Still coming at me. Always aims at the knee. Oh yeah, there's some guy down here. know exactly where they are we could throw a big old bomb at them actually we'll do this wait oh yeah see how they did it coming up out of nowhere What I really like, too, is you can, um, while you're reloading your gun, you can still pick up stuff off the ground. So, when you're reloading um, on the PS4, hit that square button, and then, um, you know, obviously you'll be hitting the X, too, at the same time, basically, where you can pick up items. <clears throat> like, it doesn't make you wait, you know. Some games do, and that's kind of hard to collect items. So see, everything's blue. That means I, I, I've gotten everything in this big room. So we'll go on and head out. And this is a nice uh, treasure treasure room that has to do with lights. When we get the key, we'll go in here. Probably be a little bit later on, though. Might even be available in part two. I'll see how long I play. I probably won't play much longer. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. Dude, shut up. Which tools do you prefer? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'd love to relax in a nice hot bloodbath. 
Is there a window down here? Where am I? Hold on. Okay, so come out and go down to the right. Innocence is bliss. Dude, put your hands down. I cannot see. Blood. Warm. Wet. Bright red blood. Where are you going, little one? <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <gasps> You stupid man thing! I feel no pain! He's about to, bitch! And you see what I mean? Took all my bullets. Those last few bullets are probably, but they were handgun bullets. Probably didn't, didn't need. She was going to freeze up anyway. So notice that if you break windows um, and they freeze, they're, they're susceptible to temperature. So then they become solid and you can shoot them. But like when they're in the fly form and they're actually, they kind of form into her and she's walking at you, you can take your shotgun and shoot you know, and it blow all the flies up again. That gives you like a few seconds to figure out where to go and stuff. <clears throat> Let's run back. Make sure we didn't miss anything because we were running from her. I tried to pick everything up. Yeah, see? Yep. So, I mean, this, this room may stay red because of that, so. Does, it, and this is a weird topic, but I'm going to ask you guys, does anybody else get a weird um, nostalgia type feeling from medieval times, like castles like this and dungeons. And I don't know, I get this weird, um, like a nostalgia, like I've, it's a place I've known before, Eat like a home type feeling, not necessarily maybe a dungeon, but the stonework and the brickwork and yeah, oh, it's weird. And I, wonder sometimes though see when i was a kid we used to play castlevania me and dad this is on super nintendo castlevania and of course it's like kind of dark ages based you know um so sometimes i wonder if that's what it is if i'm you know where i would lay and watch that game and and i was a little kid i probably definitely immersed myself in that game when i was watching and i played it too i would play it and um so i wonder if it's because of that if i'm getting that feeling because of that or i wonder if it's something genuine like a past life yeah. oh 
I'm live live streaming, honey. It's my fiance if he's watching. Usually he is. He tried to call, so maybe he wasn't. He would have seen that I was live streaming. He's the one that tells me to do this. He tells me I should do this a lot, actually, and even start doing uh, YouTube reaction videos, like where you guys could see me. And Another one was sent to the cellar. She had only spilled some soup. Everyone knows what happens when you're sent to the cellar. You've, you're never seen again. They drain your blood, your soul cursed to wander the halls. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones and gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. <laughs> That's potatoes down there. See that down there? That's what potatoes do. <laughs> they start growing roots. We actually have some in there. Now, if they're not rotted, if they're just growing those uh, roots like that, and there isn't no bunch of rotted places, you can still cook it. Just take off the roots, and if there's like one tiny bad spot, just cut it off. <laughs> but I seen it and it reminded what's in my pantry. It reminded me of what's in my pantry right now. <laughs> Hi. So I got this in my first run through of the castle. And um, I totally forgot about it and went almost all the way through the castle forgetting about it. So... When you pick this up, just go, just push your, push your triangle, go into your inventory, go down to the item, equip part, up to the handgun, boom, boom. A boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think it was added, wasn't it? Oop, a lockpick, hey. Uh, let's see. Where was there? Oh, let's see. oh, I guess we could go on and do this one. So there was another lock pick. There's a lot of them, actually. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is worth money. It's not a needed item. <gasps> Sorry, guys, this is how I kind of get the map imprinted in my mind, in my mind, like, and I'm paying attention to see what rooms I've found everything and all of that, so please forgive. Like, I get the map into my head and I learn about how it's structured and stuff. And then I'm just checking some things. Let's go down here and save. Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Ooh, the crystal torso is 5k. And whenever you know that, like, it's an item that, if it's an item that's needed, it's not going to allow you to sell it. Um, and down there it says valuable. So, like, I sold Ingrid's necklace and it didn't do nothing to me. So, hopefully, I think it's okay that you can. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. Honey, who said that anybody was dissatisfied? I'm quite happy with your services. Please do take a look at my new stock. Extra baggage. I found that I don't really need that. Uh, at least up until where I played, you really don't need that yet. So, um, and then the sniper rifle comes a little bit later. We can wait on that. Just a little bit later. 
mines. I ended up not using them much. However, if you want to use them, as you've seen, they're still very effective. I think that uh, pipe bombs are a little bit, more, little bit more effective, though I didn't get up to the level where I could make them yet, and I don't even know if you can make them. So I'll, yeah, because I didn't play all the way through. Even of the castle, I didn't. Um, typically, you can make your own uh, healing stuff, and if you're playing on casual easy mode, you're not going to need this much. You ain't going to really need to spend money on it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Gunsmithy. And... Yeah, we're going to add some pump. Leave this to me. What should I get? What should I get? <laughs> reload speed. It actually reloads pretty quick. I want to do that. Mm. Yeah, I'll save up for this. I only got a little bit more to go and I can get it. Yeah. Hey! Save you a what? <laughs> save money? Well, yeah, I'm going to. I was going to get this next. Because it really, like, helped me shooting and, again. like, it was good. It really helped me take enemies down a lot quicker. So let's see. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to save on the money. Let's go up to the wine room real quick. <gasps> Journal. Yeah. How you been doing, Matrix? I trust you had a good night's rest. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's a good game. I feel like I need to go back down here. Let's go look at this real quick. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad that you're here. I sure am. Hmm. Courtyard. 
graveyard key. Shall I give you the tour? No. Hmm. Nah, she can't come out here. There goes Bertha. Big Bertha. Like all these guys online are lusting after her and stuff. It's funny. <laughs> she is, uh, I mean, yeah, the style and stuff. She, it is pretty, but like they got this mod out there where she's got these giant boobs in this totally like tiny, tiny waist and stuff. Just realize guys, that's like very rare in real life. Don't set your expectations high. Women who have really big boobs typically have at least somewhat of like a belly. That's all I'm saying. Watch, she's gonna scream at me. Anything I can pick up? What have you done to my daughter? I bet there's something I can get for that clock. Bet you anything. Now, this is a little puzzle. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their Lord their bounty, to give the Lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. Okay. Now, I figured it out pretty quick the other day so let me let me show you guys there's two women that that's a woman this is obviously a woman there's uh, three people and the Lord okay like the master you know the richer dude not the peasant women are blind to male advances but the poor shall take their chances to give their Lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. So, what do you think we should do? Let's start with the women. The women are blind to the Lord's advances.
That's it. So take a good look how to position these statues. Yeah, I know. Now, Zelda, Twilight Princess, that's my favorite Zelda game ever. Um, I only ever played The Link to the Past back in the early 90s. A couple times one of my friends had it. Me and Dad, Dad never bought it for us for some reason. But Twilight Princess has puzzles like that, and it's it's so beautiful. Like, I love Twilight Princess. I will always be in, like, one of the top three most favorite games of mine ever. The, the they had hell? some really cool puzzles. All right, to my knowledge, there are some bitches around here. See? Actually, let me go change this. Let's do this. Oh, that's just one guy. Awesome. Oh, this is where I need that pipe bomb. It always aims at the knees. That is the weirdest thing. Now remember guys, this is on casual slash easy mode, uh, standard and difficulty obviously is going to be a little bit, you'll have more enemies, less uh, ammo, you know, so obviously if you're playing on even on standard, it's going to be just a little bit more difficult. I just, especially with horror games, any other game I really don't do it, but with horror games because I get scared, um, my first 
playthrough, I always play easy. <laughs> you know, because I, I do, I get freaked out real easy, and it makes me, um, and then if I don't know what I'm doing, if I haven't played it yet, like, I'll, <laughs> I get lost, or I, you know, keep getting killed or something sometimes. Oh, shit, God, he looked big. But other type games, I, I don't, you know. Now, I've played up through this part, but so after this, after we get, like, out of the castle, and even when we, when we get to go to do the main boss of this castle, which I think is the tall lady, you guys will see I'll be more scared because I haven't played it yet. So you'll see a difference. <laughs> you'll see a difference in me. I'm backtracking because I'm pretty sure I missed something back here. How did I get over here? I'll try to go up that ladder. This is so confusing. There was a ladder I was just looking at. I was gonna go back up it. So I just, I wanted to see if I left anything back there. Yeah, see, I got everything there. Oh, well. Let's go. Let's go.
My fiance bought this game for me, Matrix. Can you believe that? Wasn't that so nice? That was so sweet. He knows how I like it. <laughs> Let's go in here real quick. Now, this is an important part, like, kind of, I kind of want you guys to pay attention to this. When you come up from this little thing, this little makeshift elevator uh, from the dungeons, you, of course, you come over here, grab something. But I made this mistake my first little playthrough of the castle. Um, I went on and ran across here, and it goes into a cutscene and stuff, and then you can't get back over here for a while. And um, there is a couple little things in here, so make sure to come right out go to your left. Seem like I found something in here. Yeah, there was some money. Oh, there's a save. Yep, there's a save. And you can't go through this door yet, but that's okay. You come back at another time. There's nothing in this cabinet. Yeah. So remember that. Let me show you just one more time. You're going to come out from this little makeshift elevator. You'll probably be facing this way. Look at the view. And don't go across there just yet. Don't do that. Come right into the left, right over here. There was some money. And then go on and save. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. with the ceremony. That man will pay for what he's done. So as you guys can see, we can't get back over there just yet. She was pissed. We were all called by Mother Miranda to, de to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family makes me, makes me want to shudder. To think I am treated like a sister to those miscreants. <laughs> Especially Heisenberg, that riffraff with no proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't have stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughter's everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. I don't think she means tequila, honey. Rose, where are you? Now this is beautiful. This little crib is stunning. Oh, that like makes my heart pitter patter. That is beautiful. Even if it didn't have gold on it, even if it was all wood and just painted a certain way, that is just beautiful. All right, we can't go in there yet. Oh, I've got to get something to... What? <gasps> Did I miss something? Am I supposed to have a key? Oh, 
there it is. Make note of that. See, I totally forgot that. The key is right up there. Oh, shit. Mary. All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do you... Ah! You ungrateful, selfish wretch. You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters, and now you even try to steal my property. How dare you? Rest while you can, because I will hunt you, and I will break you. Go ahead, do your worst. I was just looking to see how much power my handgun has. <gasps> oh! Ah, oh, shit! Like I'd let you get away. You'll be sliced to ribbons. Oh my god! Before you ever see that child. Dude, you're a bitch. I forget what to do here. You will learn what it means. I think he can use anything. Oh, God, bro. 
You and me both in a bad situation. You know what? Someday we may have something like that. You never know. Our technology and medical technology and understandings like really going up. <laughs> good. Man, screw this castle. He's like, good. <gasps> good. <laughs> Come at me, Jones. Always points with the knees. Did you see that? Look! there being that many out here because I wow okay because I don't want to waste my bullets let's go to the dining room and save It's a pleasure to see you safe. Yeah, How yeah, I'm playing, yeah. No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? Thanks that to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Yeah. Seeking something in particular? Felt like I picked up more stuff than that. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Duke. I feel the same way. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Kinda wanna get that. This is all an investment, even. I know. Delighted to. Till next we meet. Let's see. 
see. Well, let's go back and we'll go into that room. Oh yeah, the dungeons has uh, some stuff down there. How did we get down to the dungeons? Oh, through the kitchen. Hey, Kelly. You and uh, Bobby came back too. Mr. Heel up there, his name's Bobby. So if I say that, that's who I'm referring to. You guys both came back. Hey. Let's see. I need to get a lock pick. That's the little lock pick symbol. Uh, I'm gonna come back through. Yeah, let's go through the kitchen. I won't last until <gasps> Oh! No! <laughs> I me immediately regret my decision. Immediately. this look at this I love tapestries oh I wonder if there's oh yeah I'm getting shady vibes from this place. What was it? I remember it now. I have to throw something. Okay, hold on. This is going to be a little boss fight. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get a drink of water. We're going to put our heels into the ground. Hold on. It was like... uh. Over there on that table is some pipe bombs. I'm going to run and pick those up. Um, over there is some shotgun stuff, I think. Uh, but over here, I have to push the cabinet away from the wall, throw a pipe bomb into it. So, let me prepare myself. Now, you may see me go nuts and not do what I have planned, but I beg you to not judge me. Okay, here we go. I was worried my sisters had gotten to the first. Uh, do I still have those? It was very possible I was going to freak out. I get scared, dude. These things are scary. The thing is, though, is I had experiences over the years with ghosts. Like, especially in my childhood and teenage and young adult years. 
but I started like building up this like thing in my head like a shield like a wall I actually visualize like building a wall around myself so that's why I'm kind of scared of this stuff I think yep we got everything good she had to go man she had to go she was always a bitch was always gonna be a bitch and okay Ooh, the hall of pleasure uh. Let me think. Yeah, to get this back open, I have to put the mask back in it. doesn't work. Alrighty, let's see something. Well, since we're here... I think that took us underground. Let's go on and go back underground. strange. It's like showing a little place up there. Dude, that music freaks me out. Like, I am freaking. Get me out of this corner. So I came down that way. Tasting room. Dude, if she came down here, that would freak me out. I'm already bugging. I'm claustrophobic. And her big ass climbed down here. you came back
Where are they coming from? I thought I killed everybody. Oh god. Oh, that's that other key. This one doesn't work. Oh man, I came down here for nothing. Well, not nothing. I'm gonna kill these guys and collect from them, damn it. I forgot, it ain't that key. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that other key. Man, that's not that woman's key. Yeah. Oh, well. At least I collected some valuables. Uh, but this does use her key. So let's see. We'll go back to Duke's room. Old Uncle Dukey. Save. Get some things. Maybe something I can buy. Oh, shit, I... Th is she around? Yeah, I was trying to think what I can buy there at her place. Sorry guys, I do that a lot. I go back and forth with my map. Is it? Really? Where are all these assholes coming from? Must have been something I did. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and will do them for a small fee. Hmm. Looks like something could fit in that silver ring, so let's not sell it. And buy it, I will. Let me see. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. 
Hmm. Let's hold on to that. Naturally. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll hold on to that then. It's strong. That's, uh, that's definitely going to be very strong. I don't have nothing to add to that just yet. Um, that mounted animal skull, I never figured out what I'm supposed to do with it. But then again, I never got all the way through the castle yet. So, um, yep, we're going to go to the courtyard. That's what we're going to do. Wait a minute, did I? There was one place where I could get that girl. Oh yeah, that woman's lipstick is in this little room. I missed it the first time and I missed it this time. Okay, I can get there from the courtyard, good. It's right over here. You oh, freaking outsider. hell. Oh my God, get me out. Go, oh God. Oh! Here she comes. I don't want to get stuck in here. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Oh my god, you are such a nut. You are a scary looking nut. Oh! Hurry! Dude, I can't believe she can come out in the cold. Now where was I gonna go? Dude, she knows where I am. <sighs> yep. 
that's that other key. Dude, she's right behind me, isn't she? Fuck, dude, she's everywhere. Oh! As long as she isn't isn't after me. Seems like uh, there was like a donkey in this room that I was going to shoot at. Oh my god, here she comes. That music right there, that noise right there, this, sounds so much like a PlayStation 2 game called The Haunting Grounds. Haunting Grounds. Um, you play as this girl that gets kidnapped by these maniacs and stuff, and there's a backstory to it and all that. But uh, And she has a white German Shepherd with her. And there's this guy, at least the first part of the game, there's this guy chasing you. And it's, like, dirty. I ain't going to go into detail what he's doing, but it's perverted and dirt, dirty, literally. And he's chasing after you, and all you have is, like, a few weapons and your dog. And uh, that music sounds just like when he's chasing you. That's what it reminds me of. All right. I'm going to have to get off here, here in about 30 minutes. i got to go cook dinner and stretch, and I need to check on my dog. She kind of threw up today, has diarrhea. So. <coughs> so this is the story about the three girls that that one tall lady re references as her daughters. Um, this is actually her writing about it. I guess she did a, an experiment on them that turned them into those big swarming flies. Yeah. So basically it just goes through the days how they slowly turned into these flies. Yep. My mouth's kind of dry, so I didn't feel like reading it. I would have been smacking in your face, in your ear. I bet she's on the other side of this door. That's where she is. I'm gonna go downstairs. Places like this also give me a feeling of nostalgia. Like, but I, I would refer to this like as the 1800s, like the, the wood pa paneling and stuff like that. It does. It definitely gives me a feeling of, uh, of nostalgia a little bit. I don't know what it is. I talked about it earlier with the, with the dark ages, middle ages look, the stone, the stoning, the stones, the castles, but, 
Um, I also get a feeling like that with, with paneling, wood paneling, and that design and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that specific look right there. I mean, it's just, I don't know, something about it. Maybe it was a former life, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, right there is talking about how the flies, you know, those fly girls are sus susceptible to temperature. So, that's why when you go outside, they can't follow you. But apparently the tall lady can, so. Uh, I'll have to look this up. I might do this in the next part. I'll have to look this up. I do have a screenshot, though. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I'll do this in the next part. Yeah, I have a screenshot of it, but I'll go on and do it in the next part. I'll go on and end it here, actually, for now, guys. Uh, I've got to go do some things. But thank you for watching, and I'll live stream a little bit later, probably, here in a few hours, a couple hours. So, see you then.